All right, take two. You don't know it's take two, but it is. So we need to change these cabinets to a different color. Here we go. Click on a cabinet. doesn't matter which one. Choose edit type. Mine says cabinets. Yours probably says a by category or something of that nature. So I'll go ahead and click on it. Choose a dot, dot, dot. Go find the cabinets. I'm set here because I already did this once. So go find the cabinet button. Choose appearance. Okay. See this color right here? This is what you change. Okay. So I'm going to do, I don't know, sort of a darker color, maybe. Now, something like this. I don't really care. There we go. So a purplish color. If you would like to add a material, you could go to appearance and blah, 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 and go here and find wood. It's up to you. I'm just going to color mine. So press OK. That should say the word cabinets now. Do the same thing for this one. OK. Appearance. There we go. Once you do that. Press OK again. That's there. Press OK. And now they all change color. OK. What about the countertops? Well, what about them? Same thing. Click the cabinet. Choose on edit type. Choose material finish. Go find countertop. Okay, so on these you can do a little bit more with this than probably in the cabinets. Because usually countertop is a linoleum, but you can go as, in, as far as, ca as, as maybe marble or granite or something else like that. So I'm going to hit this, replace this asset button right here. Go to appearance, double click that to where it, it expands out. Then I am going to go to stone. Granite, marble, pick something that looks nice. This white coarse polished one is usually my favorite. Press OK. This changes to the countertop. You signed it a material. And that one's changed. Now you just got to do the other ones. Once you do this one, it might go to the other ones as well. Countertop. Of course, these should all be the same. Countertop. And there we go. OK. So to the other side, yep. It is finished. There we go. There is your kitchen. Okay, looks nice. All right. So you're asking, what's next, Woith? Uh, next, we are going to save the project. We're going to add land. So here's how land works. So in order to put land in, you must be in site plan. If you're not in site plan, this will not work out very well. I usually like doing land before the roof. It just saves a few steps along the way. So while in site plan, you're going to go up to your browser things up here, and you're going to hit massing and site, and you're going to hit topo surface. Go ahead and just click randomly around your house to create a large surface. You'll notice your floor is vanished. That's supposed to happen. Okay. Press check mark once you get that done. Um, if you look at it now in 3D, you'll notice that you have, if you look at it closely, it's dirt. Nothing more than pretty old dirt. So here's how we're going to fix this. Click the dirt. Under materials, by category, click that. Choose a dot, dot, dot. That way it expands it out. Go find earth. This earth is flat. Uh -huh. All right, you're going to choose appearance. Replace this asset. Now, to make life easy this time, I'm just going to type grass. Choose a grass. I like the dark rye. Choose whichever one you want to. I don't really care. Double click it. Once you do that, this would start to update. It does. Press OK. And now it's, if you zoom in, it might be a little bit hard to see, but it is now green grass. So, step one done. Now you have a little problem here. Your grass is now through your house. So I need to show you how to fix that next. So back to site plan. Click on something called building pad. So what a building pad is, is it takes away land from inside your house. So under level one, change this to basement, something that is just below the first floor, and start clicking around the outside walls of your house. Once you got that done, press check mark, and if you're wondering what happened, look in 3D and you'll see your floor is back to where it was. 
Awesome. Okay. Uh, go back to your site plan now. And now we're going to put a driveway. Now, this house doesn't really have a garage. Probably something off to the side. We will make something work. Okay. So as we're looking at this house, this is the front of it. Okay. I've been looking at the back of it this whole time wrong. But there's your front of it. Okay. We're going to pretend that there's a little driveway right here to park your cars. It's usually what would happen. Honestly, it's usually by the kitchen, so we're going to put the drive on this side. That way you can bring the groceries right into the kitchen, which is what, usually what happens. So, go back to site plan, but I'm going to flip this up real quick by changing this to realistic. That way I can see all my colors while I'm drawing. So, how do you put in a driveway? You hit subregion. Now, I use this usually in rectangles and lines uh, just to keep life simple. Before we get started, though, let's create this into an asphalt. So choose the Buy Category button under Materials. Click this. Okay. We are not going to replace Earth, but make a duplicate of it this time. So go down here to the very bottom where it says, where you see this little ball. Click Duplicate Selected Materials. You're going to call this one Driveway. Okay. Once you got that done, choose Appearance. Replace this asset. Now this one's really simple to find. It's this aggregate high right here. That's plain old asphalt. Now, why do I just make a duplicate? Because there are certain uh, categories assigned to these, which makes life so much easier for you. Okay? So I'm going to just click on that. I know that my, my door is somewhere around there. Dry, and would you make this past your driveway? About 14 inches, or about 14 feet big. So make that like that. Press check mark and you have a nice little dark driveway, okay? Next is the walkway, and I'm going to once again go to subregion. This time I'm going to click lines. So you have to trace alongside your house, however you do it. So pretend you cannot assume that part of your driveway or house will be part of your walkway. You have to attach this line back here. If you do not, it will not work. Also, I don't want this in my house, so I use arrows just to change things a little bit. I want some grass on the inside. This should be a little bit wider. Something like this will be perfect. So press check mark, and then you're good. Look at it. If you don't like it, here's what you can do. You can click on it. You can press the, on the edit boundary. You can choose a line, you can use your arrows to move it in a little bit so it hugs the side of your house. Press check mark, and now it looks good. Okay, one last part of this video, and I'm going to stop here for you, which is site components. It's exactly how it sounds. It's trees. Dump some trees outside your house. And we'll stop there for this video here. That should get us to where we need to be at for at least time missed in class. Alrighty, that is site work. Look what you got, make sure you save your work, and see you in the next video.